I know. <laughs> okay, sorry, Steph. I couldn't couldn't help it. Okay, so here's your superior vena cava with your internal mammary, your brachiocephalics, both right and left. And you can see that on this cat, you do have a jugular, but you only have the external jugular. If we pick this up, you can see the transverse scapula going right down to the scapula. Okay. Um, here is your right subclavian, and that's branching into the axillary and the subscapula. Now, if we open this up a little bit more, you can see that the long thoracic got popped right here. Okay, and that's your demarcation between the axillary and the brachial, and you can see the brachial going down into the arm. Now, with regard to the arteries, here we have our right brachiocephalic artery and our left common carotid. Remember in the cat, this comes off of that um, brachiocephalic, but in the human it doesn't. It comes directly off of the aortic arch. And you also have the two other vessels, the right common carotid, which you can, you can definitely see it here, but I just would like you to be able to see it here also. So this is it, and then the right subclavian is here. All right. This is your left subclavian. This actually could get cleaned out a little bit better. Um, and those are the vessels in the thorax that you need. And then if we go, we're going to turn the cut around to the left side because that's really the best side to use for the abdominal structures. And we start up here with the celiac trunk, and you can see it coming off of that abdominal aorta. All right. And if you follow it straight up, it's going to the splenic, to the spleen. Okay. As you come down, you have a branch here going to the, it's called the left gastric, it's going to the stomach. And then down near the bottom, you have the hepatic going to the liver. This is the superior mesenteric. Here we have, and, and in, in the abdominal cavity, uh, for sure, we just take whatever we have because those vessels run parallel to one another. So here you can see your adrenal gland, which doesn't sit on top of the kidney in, in the cat. It sits more medially, and so this is the adrenal lumbar. Here's your renal. This is a little girl cat, and so here is your ovarian. All right, going over the ovary. As we come down, you have your inferior mesenteric. Let's pull that up a little bit so that you can see that. See it it's right there? And then here you have your iliolumbars. And then you have to look to see where this inferior vena cava is going to actually split. And it's splitting here, and remember that, now it would be a good idea to have another, uh, I don't know whether we'll be able to see that. This is the common iliac, okay? Remember that in the veins you have a common iliac, and then your internal iliac goes straight down, and so let me see if we can see that as it's going straight down. That's why it's good to have two probes here. Can you see that? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I can't see another probe around. Do you have another probe, any, anything over there? Um, and so past there, you, you would, this common iliac turns into the external iliac past the internal iliac going straight down. Then you have the deep femorals, which appear in, in illustrations to be sort of down on the leg, but they're actually right here in the groin. And then you have your femorals right here. Let's see if we can use that probe and, and see if we can't get a better picture of that internal 
See that going straight down there? Cool. Look at that. Okay. Now, on the uh, arteries on this cap, your external iliac, remember you have four vessels uh, with regard to the arteries, not just two branching off the abdominal aorta. This is a nice big external iliac, but the internal iliac is smaller, and it's right here. You can see that it's come down. Here's the other side of it. And again, deep femorals and then femorals. Those are your vessels.